All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be starting third and final Dark Souls, as of right now. I'm pretty sure there's not going to be another one, but you never know. But we're playing Dark Souls 3. And some backstory on this game. I think this was actually either this game or Bloodborne. I think I talked about this, about this at the beginning of Bloodborne. These two were the start of my like Souls series or my soul my introduction to Souls games um came back in like 2016 when this game came out uh let me turn down the volume hold up Alright, that was a little much, a little much there. I believe everything is proper. But anyways, this game was like one of my first Star Souls games. Uh, did I play it? Yes. Did I beat it? No. Did I know what I was doing? Absolutely not. I have no idea about this game besides like the very beginning and that's about it like it's one of those 99% runs again where I know very little and that's it uh, I think my friends carried me through it a bit but I never actually beat the game I do have like three or four achievements on Xbox because I tried to play it many years ago and I, um, that didn't work. Let's just get into it. Yes, indeed. It is called Lothric. Where the transitory lands of the Lords of Cinder converge. In venturing north, Pilgrims discover the truth of the old words. The fire fades, and the lords go without thrones. Yeah, it's like the fire is slowly burning the out, right? Fire is threatened. The bell tolls. Or is it just somewhere else in the world of Dark Souls? The old lords of Cinder from their graves. Aldrich, saint of the deep. These are all the bosses we have to fight. Saren's undead legion, the abyss watchers. Or at least the big ones, where it's like you have to fight these guys to move the game forward. And the reclusive lord of the profaned capital. I feel like this one's the most iconic because it's like that meme. Where it's like the Dark Souls guys versus the giant. Only in truth, the Lords will abandon their thrones. And this is the waifu of this game. I know that. And the unkindled will rise. Nameless, accursed, undead. 
unfit even to be cinder. And so it is that Ash seeketh embers. Ah, yes. We shall go with the true grout, grout, however, I've probably misspelled that name hundreds of times. Burial gifts like a ring, ring set with a small red jewel, raises maximum HP, divine blessing, warm blessing, holy water, fully restores HP, increases elements, hidden blessing. Yeah, like I had, when I first played this game, no idea what I was doing. Now I know what I'm kind of looking for. Soul of one who slept behind you, you used to acquire many souls. Oh, that's just like a boot, XP boost at the very beginning. Yeah, I see at the bottom. Burial item for good fortune after death, greatly increases item discovery for a short while. Branch of a young white birch. Perhaps an off offering of peace can be used to blend into the environment. Only one. Probably just a life ring. Now we gotta make him try to look like Leon Kennedy. Standard. Appearance, voice? I don't think that matters. Which one looks the most like Leon Kennedy, huh? Let's say this one for right now. For right now. Oh, that one's pretty good. Maybe this one. Let's go with this one. I think that might have been the original hair, but I don't remember. These are some anime eyes. We're gonna go with our like very pink eyes that we had in Bloodborne. Even though I don't think we'll ever see them past this. What is cosmetics? Oh. Oh, probably let's go with super dark. Let's make him look like he hasn't slept in like 20 years. <laughs> yeah. This man does not sleep. He doesn't sleep. Alright, final exploration. We're gonna be in night again. I just like, that's my play style is the night. You guys know that Overwatch 2 came out today? I recorded this on the 4th. I might try to play it later, I don't know. Or me and my friends are continuing Grounded tonight. Or the spooky thing for, um,. Apex. The spooky season for Apex, one of the two. Ah, yes. 
good to be back in a normal Dark Souls game where it's gonna be very linear. Hi, my guy. So I do know a couple secrets around here. When I say around here, I don't mean like here, here, right now. I wasted an Estus flask because my uh, controls were on. Oh, what's it called? Rocket League. My Rocket League settings. It's gonna be a minute for me to get used to this. I did stream the other like the other week some Elden Ring of my second playthrough. Now over here's the challenge. Because I know the secret that's over here. It's that guy. And you can technically kill this guy right away. Apparently, I get stuck on gravestones. You know, after playing so much like Bloodborne and Elden Ring, it's weird. It's kind of weird to hear those sounds again. I'm not going to lie. It is. Like, that's classic Dark Souls 1 and 2 sound effects. It's, all, it's a little odd hearing it. Are they green here? Okay. Hey. Man, I'm kind of fat rolling, huh? No more Estus Flask, so I gotta be a little careful here. Ah. 
I am one shot. Titanic scale. A little scary there. <laughs> I got real close to dying again. But it's alright, it's okay. Took me two attempts. Not too bad, not too bad. I don't know exactly what a Titanic scale does. Mother. <laughs> I didn't mean to jump. I meant to just roll to the side, but because B is jump in this game. That's embarrassing. I don't think you lose souls in this game. Sorry, I'm replying to a quick text. Forgive me for being a bad YouTuber. Right. I forgot why is just straight up whatever in this game. Because it was like, control, like why, and then whatever in the last game in Elden Ring. <laughs> ah, my first, my first bonfire. And they made teleporting super easy in this game. Isn't there a guy down here? Guys, right there. Gonna be weird being super weak again. Alright, okay. Understandable. I'm sorry. Thanks for blocking me so I couldn't go through. I suck. <laughs> it's been a minute. I've been playing other stuff and like doing other things. That's right. <laughs> hey, you, come here.